Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time some more of the Arkham Megalo. We are currently up to 480 of 3,121 checks in this multi-world, and let's bring the board up and see where we're at. Uh, so yeah, we're about uh, 14 minutes, uh, 14 minutes, 14 hours in, substantially more than 14 minutes. Um, currently we have, um, squinting here, uh, five worlds that have some checks available, uh, two that should have some sort of progress, and five that are more than likely BK'd. I did check... Uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and unless there's some other method that I don't know about to get past the first stage, you know, after the introduction, um, I do require Code Mouth to progress there. Um, I played it. I played that first stage in my hundred percent file, and I need it in two places. Uh, first, to break a pipe that causes a water spout that allows me to uh, climb up and go up further. And then again, to destroy one of those weird turtle things to uh, that, that wears an entire building as a shell. Which is what actually makes the, um, the goal appear. So, still kind of at a loss to where that is. Or how to get it, and I can't hint for it because I have like four checks in that game. But uh, that's okay because we have other games to play. And I'm gonna press that button and we're gonna get started. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I didn't have Studio D selected. Okay, there we go. Yay! I'm gonna do some Final Fantasy XIV and I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible because uh, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, there are five fates in each shroud. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight duties that I can solo. And then there's Pulling Poison Posies, which I'm pretty sure is a guild test that I'm going to queue for right now, because I can't do that one uh, solo, I don't think. Just to make sure, no, you cannot do um, guild tests unsynced. So we're going to do that real quick. But in the meantime, I'm going to make sure that I have the... Uh, correct setup on my keyboard because G-Hub is not the best program. There we go. And I go to East Shroud and start clearing some fates. I also tried to use, um, what you call it, um, the Uh, universal tracker to just confirm everything, make sure that uh, I have the correct games marked as uh, BK or whatever. And um, ran into a bit of a problem in that apparently once you have generated a world, you absolutely cannot um, update the Universal Tracker, or else it's just going to stop working. So I downgraded it again, and uh, now I have the actual checks all listed. But I did that like five minutes before we started, so I wasn't able to actually check everything, unfortunately. Oh geez, I didn't realize that uh, that fate was almost expired and then I was not able to complete it, so we gotta go do another one. Um, I have Reaper level 50 unlocked, so any fate in East Shroud is fair game. In fact, any fate in Eorzea is fair game. 
just the matter of actually unlocking these zones so that we can get to uh, get to these places. Hello. Probably bring my uh, my chocobo out here. Then an extra hit or two always helps. And that should be our first fate. There we go. Um, super missile tank. All right. Oh boy. Uh, these two are getting a little low. I should be able to at least clear one of them. Especially if this person is also looking for fates and get things cleared a little faster. Yeah, it looks like they're headed that way. One specific ad here that I'm looking for. Alice Remvolso, there it is. This is the boss fate, which means only the boss needs to go down. Cast fate to sit in the sink. I keep forgetting friggin' death design. I throw on a debuff to do extra damage. I should probably do that when it's available. Also, I noticed that that other person doesn't seem to be participating in fate. Might just be like gathering or something, so. Uh, stunned me. The audacity. And there we go. Fate number two is a uh, high potion for Alucard. Uh, we should have enough time to do this one. Provided that I don't key win first, because that uh, the, the estimated time has been reached at this point. Uh, where are you? Can I see you somewhere? Ha! That's the other dog. Get over here. Oh, okay. I have ranged attacks, that's fine. Hopefully, we don't pull some of these other. Ad Damn it.
Okay. Fake number three. And we get a uh, seashell. I forget the importance of the seashell. Oh right, someone's looking for like 15 shells or something. Is that it? Yet another boss fade, let's go. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to queue into this, because uh, otherwise I might have a situation where I just need to like start playing another game and then come back to uh, come back to 14 whenever I pop the pop in uh, when the when the queue pops is what I'm trying to say and feeling miserably. Uh, what did that give me? A vomit key. Uh, does that open up? Oh, I'm a key. Uh, well, that didn't open up binding coils. All the wild, the wild players left Final Fantasy XIV for the new X pack. Just as well. I'm not. I'm not going to generalize and say like every wild player. I'll trip the key here, hand. I'm not going to generalize, but also like the World of Warcraft um, vibe is a lot different from the Final Fantasy XIV vibe. I mean, you're the one who says it, not me. I'm a former WoW player, so I kinda get it. Alright, let's see if we can get this done. This will be fate number five. Well, we're not gonna get it done because we popped the queue. So we're going to be pulling some poison posies, provided that uh, these people don't... Uh... I was trying to keep up the alliteration and failed. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just kind of uh, keep spawning, so like, yeah, just go for the boss. Here, you can have it. Alright, and that gives me 20 monies for Foxy Fox. Oh, and we're back uh, in time to finish this. Excellent.
Okay. So that was the last fate. There are no more fates in logic. It's 10 arrows for Mipha. Alright, the rest of these checks uh, are all things that I can solo. So we're going to turn on Unrestricted Party. We're going to get started. I'm not super familiar with Hawk's Manor Hard though. <laughs> but most of these are definitely um, hard modes because uh, Oh, that's incorrect. But yes, I am going to be using the map because, like, I rarely ever get to do this. I guess this is also an opportunity for me to like actually play play through some of these. Just like the ZZT, you kill enemies, you get a key, open a door, rinse and repeat. So rare to see a treasure coffer before the first boss. Like, with newer dungeons there's a strict policy of like, there will never be a treasure coffer until after you've actually defeated the boss. There we Largely can just ignore these uh, void fire things. I mean, you don't look in the treasure coffers for money typically. Oh, hi. I said there's a tiny key over there. I probably need this. There's a seal over there. There's a sentry running off to. Okay. That indeed opens the next box, which I'm going to obliterate in two seconds. Strictly speaking, like I am supposed to be like actually queuing for these and like doing them synchronized and all that. That's just not reasonable for how big I ended up realizing this was going to be.
Her key in ways. No. Okay, so there is that one. Which means I can go into the final boss. Hallie Carnassus. That's the server that I do uh, my uh, group events on. Okay, dungeons, ARR. Up manor hard is a circuit charge upgrade, alright. I'm going to do them in the order that I see them on my list here, and the next one is uh, the Bowl of Embers on hard. Should go pretty quickly. It is a trial, so it's literally just the boss. is the Herald Shield. I think the next one is the Howling Eye. Should be Garuda. And starting with the normal version where she's like Technically a level question mark, but it's really like level 25 or something, so I'm just going to cut her in half. Or a key for tunic. Well, that looks, uh, that looks to be pretty promising, actually. And then the same thing on hard. Kind of annoying when they uh, when they decide to go uh, invulnerable for their uh, shenanigans. Hey, okay, Howling Eye is max HP for Astalon. Oh, don't need that. Uh, next is the Striking Tree. There's going to be a few uh, trials in a row here because I did hit level 50. Of course I'm going to end up like taking a lot of unnecessary damage because uh, I'm trying to ignore mechanics as much as possible, which sometimes you can't do, you actually have to do the thing or else nothing happens. Uh, 
There we go. Okay, striking tree. It's a rare stone for Kirby. Um, there's a couple of dungeons next on the list, but I think I'm going to skip ahead to Thorn March, which is the last trial on this list. To the king, Koopa. And there we go. Which gives us uh, access to South Shroud. I guess we're not done. <laughs> Yeah, that opened up a crap load of stuff. But now we got five more fates. We got uh, Battle in the Big Keep, uh, All's Well That Ends in the Well, which is another... Uh, we got actually two more Guild Hests. Yeah, we got some stuff. Uh, but I'm on a uh, streak of uh, clearing dungeons here, so let's go to Ampador Keep. I feel it's a bit, uh, it's kind of appropriate to be a reaper in this case, because I'm just literally cutting through everything. Excuse me. Unfortunately, you can't just kill this guy, you have to kill the thing that uh, he summons. There we go. He's not dead. Well, it would go a little bit faster if, uh... 
I was doing this as Bard, because I'd, I'd just be able to use uh, Peloton, which uh, increases my move speed out of combat. Yeah, I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Now this is pro strat right here. Someone drop something? Okay, now we're good. The classic killer wall boss. We also got to do this dungeon on hard, which I might uh, I might skip to a different one just so I don't do. Um, well, it's not really the same dungeon either. Like for instance, in World of Warcraft, like you might have a normal and heroic version of a dungeon, but ultimately it's the same layout, just harder enemies. The hard version of a dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV is a completely different dungeon. I think even though I have a bunch of stuff that I could do, I might try to limit myself to like about an hour today. I'll move on to something else, because it's probably not everyone's cup of tea. I mean, basically, yeah, we're... Suck you be lying, lying about. There we go. And this should be the end of the dungeon, I believe. Ampidor Keep gives all carving orange. Fantastic. Uh, what's next? What's next? Uh, let's do a low level dungeon. Thousand laws. Uh, if I can notice any enemies that are um, clearly ranged, I try to deal with them as I go, rather than just let them trail behind and have to chase after them.
brings us to our first boss, which is the Curly Nine Tails. In case you missed that boss, don't worry about it, we'll see it again. <laughs> It is kind of satisfying. And in case you didn't believe me, there's a curl in my tails again. If you missed it that time, then you're out of luck, because that's not the third boss. Yeah, just kind of factoring in, like, there is a lot of duties in this game, and like, even though this, uh, this manual does not include Dawn Trail, um, and it still has over 200 duties. Um, things that will not be included in this run are Extremes. Uh, any like e extreme or savage content, um, those are not going to be done here. Okay, so that was uh, what thousand miles? There it is. Potion for Lunaeus. Okay. Uh, let's do the Sunken Temple of Karn. Also, I just realized that, uh, my wondrous tale books um, my wondrous tales book expired oh no that's actually like actively unfortunate because it's a pretty good source of tomestones stones and experience actually yeah the plan yesterday was to actually get it done but then i failed to notice that um there was maintenance. Oh. Locked door, where's the key? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there ended up being maintenance, and so... I ended up just kind of focusing on getting some levels in uh, in Dark Knight instead, and uh, yeah. That means not only do I not get the book from two weeks ago, I don't get the book from last week either.
Now this boss is definitely not a, a drive-by boss. This is going to break apart several times. Pretty sure this cracked Karn Facer is going to drop an item that I need to continue. Yeah, Moon Sphere. Should have grabbed that. So that we may open this door. Oh, the Sabatender Imperatrice. That's the needles one, right? This one's kind of annoying to do um, synced. It doesn't really bother me at all, but uh, in this state, but um, eventually you'll see the Sabatender Imperatrice begins counting needles. Uh, if she manages to count up to 100,000, she will do a party-wide AoE, which just wipes. And in order to avoid that, you need to kill all the ads. Ah, there was another one. I think I need to... Oh, okay, now. Just needed to kill those dudes and then... Poke this. The Sun Sphere in there. Then go over to the other side and put the Moon Sphere in that side. Oh, right. And then I need to actually poke this again on the other side. Shallow Room Depression has been causing me. Another item that I need? Oh, find a star sphere. Yeah, there is another item that I need. Where? Where is that? But I like this. 
this is spawn. Surely it's not all the way back here, because this is where the boss was. Unless the bot the boss dropped it. Actually, this is not the boss room. But I did leave it behind like a doofus. That's okay. We got it now. This is going to end up taking a little longer than I was hoping, though. I think um, after this dungeon, I'm going to go over to South Shroud, start clearing fates, because those are going to be the faster checks. Uh, see if I can uh, get into a guild test or two. While we're out there. Okay. Uh, that was uh, a sunken temple, right? Yep. Attack plus one for Astalon. Alright. I can get down with that. Let's go to South Trap. And then while I am here, uh, all is well that ends in the well, and uh, stinging back. So you can get one or both of those. Uh, that one just expired. I think that was a longer one though, so I'm not too worried about it. This is a boss. I have three minutes. I think I can do it. Oh shit. I just noticed I was also queuing for some for a sunken temple. I don't want that. Let's get rid of this guy real quick. And anything that is attached. And get on the boss. You know, you really don't need to interfere. one. Um, plenty of time, someone's on it. Let's see. Meanwhile, South Shroud. Fate number one is a guacamole toast for Leah. Yes, I know. And the, the flight ceilings in these earlier zones is so low, or are so low. It does look like someone else is also working on this. The crappy thing about this one though is like the ads are so spread out. Like, you can't just finish this one quickly. But at least we got, uh, got two people on the job. Theoretically, we can get the job done twice as fast. Oh, hello. 
Oh. Oh. I fell out of bounds, so my level desynchronized. Can't go that way. Well, maybe we have three people on this. Do it. One more I would finish this. Okay. Page number two. Chaos Trap. Yeah, my goal at this point is um, just get the fates for this zone and then I will uh, Yeah, there's a specific enemy that we need to get for this. Yabby Two Tails there. that one do what they do because otherwise I might end up pulling these two over here if I don't need to. Ah, so I ain't doing so great. Show me, but there we go. And you're still on your bullshit. Okay, um, well, that's fate number three, and that is sunglasses for Alucard. Only one other fate that's currently available. Which hasn't been triggered in a bit, so it might disappear by the time I get there. Hopefully not. If I get the fates done before I queue into uh give me a second here. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a collection. Ah. 
And my computer is giving me some indication that it might be running a little hot actually. I don't know what's, what the deal is. I'm gonna turn down the processing a little bit here, so hopefully it uh, doesn't overheat too much. the turn in dude give me a second is that enough it sure isn't well maybe we can get back in time to actually finish that And this is a lot of ads, actually. There we go. Okay, that was all of all the ins in the well, and that gives me 2 HP for Astalon. Hey, I got a commendation out of that. Alright, so now I'm gonna finish this before I... Alright, same thing as... It's kind of annoying that only some of these are marked as um, part of the fate. Like the big difference is the ones that are marked that have this little icon next to them will drop a stolen crate. 
I need to turn in 20 of those before time runs out. At the very least, 20 of those need to be turned in in total before time runs out. If there was anyone else here, then their contributions would also count. Also, the fake mobs do respawn faster. That might be enough. Yep. Uh, so now that's a turn in quest, so uh, it gives an additional minute for people to uh, actually go and turn in the rest of their stuff so that they can have it counted toward the fate. Which is something that I didn't understand earlier on while playing this. But I am going to go ahead and mark that as done and I get a turkey. I know I've already done this one, but there is no rule against repeats. Unless you specifically have Fate Sanity enabled. In which case, um, in order to, um, in order for a fate to count, like you have to be every individual named fate. So like you can't do just the same one five times. They have to be different ones. But I don't have that option, because I knew this was going to be a long already. There we go. Well, that's some experience that I would have liked to have on Dark Knight, but uh, Dark Knight is not in logic. 50 rupees. Uh, well, it's been about an hour. I think I'm gonna call that good. We still have um, Ampador Keep Hard, Battle in the Big Keep, Stinging Back, The Lost City of Ampador, and the Tom Tyra Deep Croft on Hard. Um, you know what? Battle in the Big Keep is a trial. Let's go pay a visit to Greg. Unrestricted. So yeah, I want to get uh, Enkidu down first, and then go chase after Gregamesh over here. And there we go. Uh, do I have this? I want to check. I am not sure. Yeah, no, 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 I have it, I have it. I also have Enkidu, so I don't need to worry about that. It's the, uh, the pet that you can get from that trial. Star coins. Alright, there's still some stuff that I could do, but... Uh, 
I'm going to call that good for Final Fantasy XIV for the time being. All right. So that still definitely has some uh, pretty straightforward checks to get. Um, Astalon is the other green one, so I think we're going to go and play that. Uh, yeah, it's on. Hey, yeah, Aslan did get, uh, did receive a few checks there. In fact, almost everyone, I think, got a little bit of something. I think bumper stickers didn't, but, uh, bumper stickers has, like, what, uh, uh, how many checks do they have? I forget. Ah. All right, I'm not going to be able to hear the game if it's not coming through the correct channel. There we go. This one? And a pretty good chunk of stuff here. Alright, this is Gorgon Slayer, attack plus one. Void Charm that I don't remember what it does. Some white doors and some blue doors. Uh, we got getting all of the abilities for Bram, but we don't even have Bram yet. There we go. Uh, warping between warp points. Um, Mark Victimius. Don't remember what the Ascendant key does. Uh, not the Ascendant key, the other, the other, the Adorned key. There we go. to go. Oh jeez. For some reason I thought I was stronger than I actually am. Especially since those attack plus one that I got, uh, I believe apply to all characters?
Oh, we have access to Tower of Leaks now. I don't know that we had access to it before. Actually affect those. That was hard to tell whether no can actually go this way. It's always hard to tell whether like water droplets are going to hurt or not. that I'm going to be able to get up here, actually. Oh, there we go. But, I don't have the key for this. So, yeah, nothing doing here. Must have already cleared this uh, this kill room. I can't see that I wouldn't have. Yeah, I did. This is a negative. And that goes nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, to double check to see if uh, the Universal Tracker tells me anything. Because, like, there's definitely no guarantee that it will. Like, there are some games that just will just work with uh, the Universal Tracker, but not all of them necessarily are going to. I think there's an item that Zeke can get that will allow him to uh, to activate these things, but I don't know that he has it yet. Because I think these objects would be glowing if that was the case. I keep looking for a little bit, but I do have a feeling like there actually isn't anything that I can do in Astalon right now. Which means, uh, going to another game and, uh, 
doing what I can do. According to the map, this is where I died last, but I think I just died because um, I was trying to finish the session. Because those four dots there I'm supposed to tell the uh, location of the last death. And I can't go this way. So yeah, there's nothing in this zone that I can do right now. I thought for sure that there was going to be some sort of progression, and I'm starting to think I am actually in BK mode, and have been in BK mode. Oh, I can't actually get back to... Uh, From where I was, I wasn't able to get back to the elevator, so dying is my only option. Um... Oh crap, I don't need first insight. This is purely exposition. If you want to see the exposition, then you can play the game in full. Or maybe I can play the game in full later on, at some point. So now that I've died, there there is that, uh, that key icon in the top right. I think that the key that I got actually will uh, restore my health passively. I guess maybe it's just not something that I'm able to uh, to get until I come back to life. There's a lot of these that require Gorgon eyes. Kinda sucks, because like the, the first time that I did this with uh like in the super shuffle, I got one of the Gorgon eyes like immediately. Also, I didn't shuffle the keys. And I see that shuffling the keys may have been a bad decision, actually. Because I didn't realize at the time that um, it was going to not so much shuffle the keys as shuffle the locks.
to press that button up top to go around the bottom. I still only have the single wall kick for Kyuuli. So I can't get to that button. I'm not going to be able to get to the other item that's like up the tower that's that way. Yeah, that's just a money store. Is there really just gonna be nothing here? Oh. Great. One of the keys that I got opened this up. That's what I need. More blue orbs. Doing anything from expecting you? No. No, I don't want to go up that way because there are spikes. high enough to the wall kick up there. I'm not going to be able to do much down uh, down below because I don't have any of the Gorgonize yet. Let me try opening the Universal Tracker. No, not the Adventure Client. Universal Tracker. Uh, and uh, Astalon is uh, slot eight. Well, this says I have. Uh, I should be able to get uh, Gorgon Tomb Algus, Gorgon Tomb Arias. Urban Tomb Void Charm. And a bunch of stuff in the shop. Catacombs Attack plus one, Mechanism Blue Key. Oh, because I have the Void Charm. Right, 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 right. That's, uh. There's like warp zones. Of course, I don't know where they are. Do I have a map of this game somewhere? Let's go look up a map. Still on. Just save this here. Oh wait, no, I already did have it. I thought I had downloaded this map at some point. And I... yeah, that was not the keyboard doing a double input. That was me doing a double input. Uh, 
Okay. There's an elevator there. Um, two rooms to the right, there is a Void Charm Warp, but I don't have the Gorgon Eye to get past that. Um, oh yeah, there is a, I might be able to get that check that's down there. So I'm looking at a map here and uh, trying to figure out what my options are. Maps! Get your maps here! I am not able to... Oh, wait. I have to look in pots for keys sometimes. I did not think to do that. Um... Is there any room that I have access to that I need to... So up on this platform, yeah, but it's over there. I can't get there. Uh, this is a kill room and I'm sure I've already done it, but let's do it again. It's pretty quick. Yeah. I should have gotten that already. Uh, I don't think damage boosting is really a thing. Because, like, I got hit by that snake on purpose just to kind of demonstrate, like, this is what it looks like. I can tank to get this, but I doubt it's worth it. Yeah, parched leaves. Oh. Actually, I haven't been this way. And then again, there's not a whole lot that I'm going to be able to do here. Pretty much just kill this guy. And then I can't actually... 
continue here because this is a kill room and I don't have any way to get rid of these three things. I can deal with the one at the bottom there with very precise shots and that's about it. But there is at least one other check that I think that I can do. Um. Actually, let me see. And then there's a bunch of other checks that I just don't really know. Um, where they are. There is a check here, up here, and it looks like it might be important, because that is blue, that is the color of progress. Shock! Well, he has got an element! Hmm, love that. I uh, still need the uh, Bergen Mine Pass in order to be able to uh, get into the first dungeon, but uh, that is something. Yeah, there's uh, there's a check for uh, for Algus and a check for Arias, and I don't really know unless it's something to. Oh, okay. I think I know what it wants me to do, and it's something that I could have done from the start. So let me just go die to something. I guess I can save while I'm here. I don't strictly have to die to something, it's just going to be faster. Then there's a couple of checks here, but I can clearly see what they are and uh, how much I actually need them. I don't need Needy Risotto. I have plenty of Waddles D. Uh, I'm at Reaper level 50 already. It, I'll buy these. By which I mean I'm going to cancel out of the shop accidentally. But next time I'm in there, I'm probably just gonna buy them because, like, it really seems to be um, a Reaper seed. Yeah, that's that's all it wanted me to do. Let's just visit these rooms and that's it.
there's still a blue key in Mechanism and the Void Charm in Gorgon Tomb. But like, from the looks of it, in order to get to that Void Charm, I would have to... Oh wait, no! Because I have the Void Charm... Uh, there is a door somewhere. Yeah, there we go. I have the Void Charm so I can do this. And it's a hazard bumper for Kali. Uh, can I get anywhere from here? I can get this check. Oh. Okay, there we go. That's what was missing. All the remaining checks are in the shop. So I'm going to take a death here. I'm going to buy those Reaper levels at the very least. Uh, Kyuli's Assassin Strike is a Gold Questagon. That's going to be useful. And, uh, Warp Shard for Lunaeus. Five levels of Blue Mage is going to be completely worthless. Yeah, that's going to be it. This game is in BK. I'm going to go ahead and head to save point and uh... Gonna be it for Astalon for now. I'm glad to know that the uh, the Universal Tracker is actually working now. This turned out to be a version mismatch. Close enough. I think I'm gonna call that break time. So y'all can take a moment, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes we shall continue on and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna play next. I'll uh, I'll ponder on that for a little for a little bit. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 